Don't not do the things when the kids are little. Don't wait until it's easy because you miss out. You really miss out. Like, yes, it's harder to travel with four kids than it is as two adults, yes. But, you know, if you make everything somewhat of an adventure, a fun time, even the journey of getting to the place, make it fun in some way, let the kids help as much as possible, then it all becomes an enjoyable experience. Now granted, it has its moments, okay? When people start acting crazy and kids start doing stuff they ain't supposed to do and getting into stuff they ain't supposed to be getting into, is it frustrating? Yes, but you know, you have frustrating moments with adults, okay? Some adults don't know how to travel well, all right? So I don't blame my kids for also trying to figure out how to travel well. They gotta practice. And if they never go anywhere, they'll never get better about being out the house. Let me see. Whoa. Um, no. 
So by the time I get him that sleep, we're missing. We're missing him. We'll be Where ready. Do you want It'll one? be time y'all go sleep. Okay, we'll do another page, baby. I'll find him. Yeah. The color. We're missing one of our couches. Yes. 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 Here, bring them over here. Okay, thank you. No, the letters, all of them. Um, we're doing the colors right now. Thank you. Can you grab MJ, please, babe? Yeah, MJ can't do this stuff. Okay, here you go, Sarah. Go Daddy, I have, I have a good idea for tomorrow. What's, what's that number? Um, me, me and Mama are going to put Nash in the office, <laughs> and then we can go to the park, and then we can go get ice cream. So we're, this is the four seasons, okay? There's four seasons in a year. There's spring, there's summer, there's autumn or fall, fall. and there's winter. Winter. Yeah, winter. Yeah. So which one is it when the weather is really cold? Um, snow. When do we get snow? In the... Um... <laughs> Micah, which one is that one? That's winter. So put it here. Say winter. Put it here. Okay. Okay. Say winter. 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 And then spring. Spring. Which one is spring? This one and this one. And winter. Now time to move on. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> to the farm. So we're doing I love vegetables and I corn. Okay, that's not the right one. Let's find the farm one. Uh, look over there, Sarai. Let me see. Look over there. No. I'm going to give you some, and I'm going to give Sarai some, okay? I'll be doing this And then we're going to take turns. I'm going to do the girl. Sarai, Micah's going to have the boy, and you're going to have the girl. And you're gonna have the girl. Okay. Okay? And then you're going to get some vegetables, Micah. Okay. And then Sarai's going to get some vegetables. No, put them here. No, here's no, Sarai. No, 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 this no, no, no. One goes Sarai, here. I will give the directions. Thank you very much. Okay, Micah, it's your turn. Can you match the little boy? Where does the little boy go? Right here. Good job. Now Sarai's turn. Um, What's your first fruit, baby? What um, do you have? This. What is it? This. An eggplant. An eggplant. Okay, Micah, your turn. What do you have? Uh, apple. You have an apple, correct. Where does the apple go? Uh, no, right. not that one. That's tomato. Okay. Look on that side. Where? This one. Can you see where the apple um, goes? This one goes to this Sarai, one. Sarai, let him do his and you do yours. No, no. You Sarai, you let him do his. Go to him. No, that's not. No, I mixed no. them up. So he's going to do some on your side and okay. you're going to do some on his side. Good. Correct. I don't want to do that. Okay, Sarai, it's your turn. What do you have next? No. What do you have next? Sarai, do you not want to do it anymore? You don't have to, but we got to fix our attitude. Okay? Can I try? That's okay. It's okay, Sarai. Okay, you do the next one on your side. It's Sarai's turn, Micah. No, wait. Okay. No, I put it my Sarai, don't. Ah! Hey, relax. Stop. Hey! Bring this here. Sarai, do you have your cards? Sarai, do we need to go take a nap? Okay, then stop. Sarai, look. This, what, mine. That's a, which one is that one? That's an orange. Good job, Micah. Here, Sarai, do that one. What's that one? I don't want to put that one That's correct. Okay, so which one do you want to do, Sarai? I want to do so, okay. Here. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, hey! do it. Mine. Here, one this one's yours, Micah. Here. Corn goes here. Okay. It, it goes right here. No, it don't. It goes hey, here. Hey, Sarai, be kind. That's where it goes. It goes up. No. Oh, go get it. Okay. Um, got it. Wait, got wait. it. Um, okay. What's the other one I need? And guys. Is it over there? No, That's yeah. correct, Micah. No, this one, this one goes to Micah's, so I'm finding the other one. Look over there, Sarai. Look underneath the bag. I want to do that. 
Your gore. No, I don't, Micah. Go here. Hey, relax. Sarai relax. Here. No, I don't. Relax, Sarai. Have patience, please, Micah. Oh, Micah, go here. That's correct. Okay, Micah. Good hey. job. Sarai, you need to be more kind and have some patience with your brother, okay? Uh, okay, yay. Okay, we right. Now, where does that one go, Micah? That's a watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah. What is a water breaker? Here. Correct. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> what is oh, days, of the, days of, of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Okay, I will give I will give you them. And, and then we can do this one. That's right. Okay. This one is, what is this one? Green. Green, that's Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday is the third day of the week. Here. Micah, no, it goes, wait. Can where? you find where it goes, Micah? It goes. Come over here, bring this over here. Okay, what's the first day of the week? Blue. Where do we start? We start Blue. with Monday. No. Monday. No, yeah. Monday. Here, put Monday down. I want to put Monday. Okay, Micah. Monday goes. Tuesday. Put Tuesday down. Oh, you gotta flip it. It's upside down. It's upside down. No, this is Micah, no. relax. Relax. Hmm. Put it right back there. Put it there. That's where it goes. Tuesday <laughs> is the day of the week. And today is. Micah, where does Thursday go? Thursday goes. Go. No, Micah, no. you do it. Sarai, let him do it. Flip it, baby. It's upside down. Thank you. Here, put it this way. Right okay. And then well, not like after that, Micah. Fr- after Thursday, it is. I want to do it. I want to do it. What's after Thursday? Um, Monday. I don't know. Friday. Friday. And then after Friday is Saturday. Look, Micah, upside Baby, down. Upside down. Relax, Sarai. Don't be yelling at him. I can't. I'm not. Okay, Sunday. Sarai, where does Sunday go? It goes here. Okay. No, I can't. I want to do that. Okay. Okay. Stop, stop. Yeah. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. One, two, three. What are the days of the week? Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job, Sarai. Love it. Okay. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday. Okay, baby. Sarai, do you want to say something special to daddy before we cut the cake? No. You don't. No. You just want to say something real time, right? I want to say something at my school. Oh, okay. okay. Do you don't have anything to say about daddy? (laughs) How much you love him? I really do with the place. Oh, you do?
Okay, so Rax, I'm speaking. Even earlier, I was praying and like thinking about hurting him and how much God loves us and how much everything that he created, very intentional, is out that way. And so it's really been being more intentional, hugging y'all, telling y'all how much I love y'all, and like making sure that y'all feel that. And even if something you <laughs> something you be saying to me. Or as it pertains to like my moods and how it affects everything else. So just obviously being more um, cognizant of that because everything that we do, we're doing for him. And, you know, how about you? Mantrums. Oh, mantrums. How about you? Mantrums. I never said that before, but I have my little mantrums. Obviously, that's not conducive to the environment of loving kindness that I want to cultivate here. So, just be aware about that, uh, really, and be more intentional. I'm sure. I just got this cake. It's a cake. Oh, ooh, and it's perfect. I wanted it to be like white with the cookie cream in the middle. That's what I wanted. When I saw white icing, I was thinking to myself, like, I was like, yeah, I was so hyped. This is what I was like. You good? Yeah. You good? But I was just sitting outside and it's like 8.30 in the morning and the Lord put it on my heart. Schedules bring you comfort, but that's not where your comfort is supposed to come from. And I don't know who this is for. It's first for me, okay? But this idea that schedules bring us comfort is not a lie. It's true. Especially like somebody like me, like I grew up always on a very specific schedule. And I found so much comfort in that because my mind goes all over the place all the time and structure in a schedule like centers me. But something that I struggled with when I started having kids was this idea that they need to be on a, on a schedule because that helps them feel stable and comforted and safe. All true. But what God just placed on me today was that's not where the actual comfort comes from though. The feeling of comfort void of him is not true comfort. It's a counterfeit. So many of us create schedules and plans just so that we feel comfortable, just so that we feel control over our lives in some sort of way. What the Holy Spirit wants us to understand is that it don't even take all that for you to get the comfort that you're looking for. We're so used to having to do something to get something back. And that's how the world operates. It is. You have to give something to get something back. Nothing in the world is truly free. This is true. We know what is truly free though. The gift of salvation, right? The gift of being God's child, right? So if we want access to comfort, we have to realize that that is free. Free of us needing to do anything in order to get it besides being God's child and recognizing him as a father, right? And recognizing where we have been out of step or where we have been trying to do things in our own will and in our own way. Like trying to create schedules and plans without him and really with the underlying intention of trying to find comfort somewhere trying to find control somewhere, trying to feel safe somewhere in our own power. Instead of saying, I need you. I need you, Father. I need you to give me comfort. I need you to give me peace because your peace is unmatched. Your comfort is unmatched. A plan, a schedule is not going to give me the same type of peace and comfort that you give me. And in simple prayers like that, the Lord will give you that spirit of comfort. He'll give you the real feeling of safety that even if you ain't got a pen to write down a plan, even if you don't have the mental capacity to write or create a plan, because think about that. Sometimes we forget, like 
it actually takes a bit of skill to create a plan and to create things, right? And not everybody has that. So let's humble ourselves and think, if I couldn't read, if I couldn't write, if I couldn't think with a sound mind or process things with a sound mind in a sense of like a normal way, how could I access God's comfort? Oh, all I'd have to do was talk to him, ask him genuinely in my heart. I don't even have to speak words, but words help. <laughs> words help. But even if I can't formulate the right words, if in my heart I am agreeing that he is the source of my comfort and the source of my peace, then there's nothing holding me back from accessing it. Hey, spit it out, spit it out, spit it out. Spit it out. I made a chart for us to, because we got six people to make sure we have outfits for, and things for every day. It's on the floor. So, I made a chart for outfits. Babe, do you not realize that there's multiple things each day that we need to make sure everybody has something to wear for? They need one outfit to wear. They need exactly, trauma trunks. But, and some shots don't babe, be done. But you realize that so you say, yeah, one, but we're talking about one times four. Yeah. Times really six between you and I as well. So, yeah, no, if you want to hold all seven that. between you by yourself. If you want to hold all. If you want to hold all that in your brain, go ahead. But I'm not. I'm not trying to hold so all brain. We just count. One more. Just let me tell you. God. You know what? Don't even worry about it. No, I want to see. I want to see. way that you want to see. I want to see. Nope, I want to see. Because you said that while I was trying to talk to you doing this, I, I want to see what yes. you did. <laughs> well, yeah. Sarai, just wait. Yep, exactly. So let us pack. There is a column for everybody. I'm not saying we need to list out the outfit, but putting a check mark or an X next to what we've placed in the suitcase or what we've placed in a pile for them. Breaking down, okay, travel clothes, the water park clothes, an extra set of clothes, because each day we're not just gonna be at the park, we'll probably do the arcade part or just like other things around that place or like have regular clothes to sit in plus PJs. I didn't even put PJs on there. I need to put PJs on there. Okay. So like whenever we're putting their, getting their stuff together, Thank you. we need to basically make a check mark on this list so that when we get through the list of everything, we know we've packed everything. And we're not just throwing random stuff in the back. Okay. I mean, okay, so now this is something that we have to consider. Given this. Well, she ain't driving no more. It, which is even more reason why we need to make sure we're only packing what's on that list. So this is what I mean. Today, I'm going to call to her and take a the car wash and the bathroom and all that. But also, after doing that, I want to, I'm going to pre-pack the car. There's nothing in the stuff. So let's put it in and we'll see kind of how we can make this work. Pre-pack the car, what? Like, just putting stuff in the car, thinking like, what if, bags. yeah, like not full, just like two cases to see like how we can make that stuff make sense with the space we have. Okay. And and see what we're realistically working with as far as what we can bring or what we can't. And then even considering worst case scenario, we don't get tires and make that issue. That's what I was thinking. Like if we need to rent something. Because I looked at the cost already. We need to rent something. For a suburban? Yeah. So that's like the worst case scenario. Okay. So I'm like, so I'm and really like, that just comes down to like packing if, if we if we you know don't pack Stop, Sarai. the wagon. Now 
another option could be instead of Sarai, renting an I SUV. Mean, stop touching that stuff. Okay, thank you. Don't touch anything up here anymore. Instead of renting an SUV, you could always like buy a smaller wagon. Like 200 bucks. Yeah. But buy something that's easier to Like a two-seater? It's not necessarily a two-seater, but there are some that are just, they can be skinnier than the one we have. The one we have have all the best whistles, all, yeah. like the way the shade is set up and all those things, the woods are really thick. So it, it won't be as robust as ours, but it would be, get down MJ, but it would be at least something smaller and we would have to run a, a vehicle. So that would be a, you know, much cheaper expense, period. Because I think, you know, moving forward until we get another car, that'll be something we'd always have to consider. Yeah. But even if there's a wagon that can only fit two, get down. If there's a wagon that can only fit two, it's not a bad idea because we have really only needs to fit two as yeah. size old enough to walk. Right. On our own and be obedient. And there are Sarah. So, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Well, and most wagons aren't, they actually fit more than two. It's just two people normally, and they say, like, if you, you know, put something in survival, with them, yeah. like, really, it could fit more than two people. It's just a matter of what you put in. More than two. And they just would have, like, this one got like, special seats, like, they would be just sitting in a like, wagon. That's fine. I, I'm, 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 I'm open to the idea. I'm just thinking, yeah, we need to see, like, what. How strategic we can be with everything getting packed in the. Yeah, so I was like, I'm a, I, I come back from the car wash, yeah. I'm going to put like, one of the big suitcases in there and then yeah. we got quite a few bags that are like fit in between seats. Yeah. And see what happens. Because maybe even the big suitcase can fit in that middle chopping seat area. Yeah. Which will leave the back open to the wagon that we can have little duffel bags that sit yeah. on the feet behind the store, behind the, I mean, behind yeah. the car seat, behind the, okay. behind the car seat. Okay. Feet, so, okay, so. All right. I just want to see, see what we can do. If it works, if, it works. if not, we'll at least know with enough time to pivot. Okay. Last, what you doing today? Nothing anymore. Want to go to the mall? Sure. I do too. I do. <laughs> Look, if we want to the mall, we're going for one purpose. So daddy can get stuff. So daddy clothes. can get stuff, not for y'all. And, which is the other thing anyway, on so that list, <laughs> because, um, she put ever on this list. Mommy? Now you're a cop, baby. I know, I'm kidding. But, <laughs> no, you're not. Listen, want to be on No, you're not. No, she's not kidding at all. Because she said that very serious. But, but me, I ain't on this list. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. Everybody I didn't, I didn't put you on that list because you always do your own thing. You know, that's not true. I do our thing. I, I, I put this on for book. both of us. With your name on it. Because I need the list. You don't need the list. You're good about packing yeah. for yourself. You want me to put you on uh -huh. there? You know why? I'll make you brown. You know why? Because I make lists. You've seen my list before. That's what you got exactly. my for this. I did not actually. You've seen but my list you seen my list If you want to take see. that, go ahead. But uh -huh. I definitely was not thinking of you uh -huh. when I made this. You don't I, make Excel sheets. Not Excel sheets. I created Exactly. Okay, so I'm doing. I have not actually seen any of those. No, I have not. Babe, I'll leave you on that. Calm down. Okay. We like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Michael. Hey. 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 Okay, so I already got the girls' stuff together. I put it all in here. And we're some little shoes. I don't even know if she can actually fit these, but we're gonna see, okay? They're cute. I got her some outfits, obviously, tons of onesies, Sarai, at least three swimsuits, a couple different outfits little whatever, whenever type of little dresses, and I need to get her shoes, and she's good. So now that I have the girls pretty much taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my things. So a couple of things that I'm gonna bring. First off, I got this 
It's a nursing cool cover, okay? It's from Lady Alpha. And I, I found this on Instagram. And I thought it was genius, especially for Texas summers. So essentially, this is the cover part. Comes in this little bag. So it's in here. I'm not gonna take it out right now because I'll just show y'all how it works whenever we actually get to Kalahari, which is where we're going. I don't know if I've said that yet. We're going to Kalahari Resort in Round Rock, Texas, which is basically Austin, Texas. So this is the fan. You heard me, fan. Uh, let's see, it comes like this. I'm gonna keep this. And the, oh, okay, so this is flexible. Oh, wow. This is like a hard rubber or something right here, or silicone. It's got like Velcro right here on the sides, and this is where you hook on the cover. So you wear it like this, and the fan cools you and the baby while you're covered. Right? Isn't that crazy? Oh. So I'm so excited to use this. So the cover goes around this side and air is coming from this end, this and this right here. Wow. Oh, so and there's different modes. Now it's on high. Oh, it's, oh my gosh. The air is coming from all around here, like right here and right here. Ooh, so cool. Okay, I cannot wait to use this. Okay, so there's three speeds. Now it's on high. This is where you charge it, right there. And I just cut it off. Babies can overheat really easy because they can't regulate their own body temperature yet. So I got that fan, I got this handheld fan just in case that one dies. But this one you can like a, um, hook it onto stuff, you know, has a light, has a fan. So bring in this for sure. So Kalahari is like a indoor and outdoor water park resort. So we'll be inside for the water park. We, as a family, got a cabana inside. So we'll be sitting inside most of the day on Tuesday, which will be our first full day. And then the second day, we haven't gotten a cabana or anything. So we're gonna see how it feels. But I also got her this little hat. Oh, let me show y'all the little bathing suits I got for her, even though she's not really gonna be in the in the pool. So I got I got all this, the hat and these swimsuits from HM. HM online, or even in some of the HM stores, but HM Kids and HM Baby has some of the best clothes out there for kids. Like it's one of my go-to places. So this is a little swimsuit I got for her. Isn't it so cute? Look at the yellow swimsuit with the little rough so cute that one and then I also got her this one so cute the stripes pastel stripes right so cute so I only got her these two or I think oh and then I also got her this little romper little one see with the, with the floral go pattern so cute I know I know I know I also got this little set, this is from 7 a.m. They sent this to me a while ago because they sent us like a few bags and things as gifts. And isn't this onesie so cute? It's like got like a speckle pattern and it's like a really nice knit. What material is this? It's cotton, but it's ribbed. So it's really nice and it's actually really lightweight even though it's cotton. And then there's these little bottoms. So cute, right? But they also came with these little shorts too. So cute. So I can do either these bottoms or these bottoms. And Sarai actually got a matching dress with this as well. They've got matching sets on there too. You already know I'm here for a matching set, okay? Oh, this is also, I'm bringing this, this bag from Paris 64. They also sent me this a while ago, but I haven't been outside, outside the house, so haven't been able to wear it yet. But isn't this so stinking cute? Look at that. Super high quality, feels really luxury, luxurious. 
It's 100% Spanish, okay? This is the Baby Always Rattan in Black, the P64. But yeah, and the inside is cute too. Look at the inside. It's like really durable too. Inside is really cute. It's got like this like pattern in it, right? But I picked this one out because I was like, I really don't wear bags like that. I always have a diaper bag on me. But if I do wear some sort of bag, it's always something small like this that I can just throw on in case I'm also wearing the diaper bag and this. But this is really cute. Another TikTok made me buy it thing because I'm on the side of the algorithm where all the mamas are putting each other on, okay? To stuff like this, all right? This. If you are in the mom TikTok algorithm, you've seen these. These like full coverage bathing suits. This is a bathing suit. It's got the little skirt, the zip up here. It's got pads in here. So you literally don't have to wear anything underneath this. Are these shorts? Yes, these are shorts right there. Cause I'm gonna be basically at a water park all day and I did not wanna be just like in a bathing suit. Child, I'm like, at this point, nine weeks postpartum, I'm not trying to be in nobody's bikini for sure. I'm pushing myself to be in a bathing suit, okay? So this is my like safety net bathing suit because it's still like a full coverage situation. They also have them with no sleeves, but I like the sleeves, it's got like, little um, thumb holes on this too. You already know we love that. So I'm bringing this. Now I did get a couple swimsuits, okay? I did, I'm pushing myself. They're also both full coverage. These are, I've seen them, you can get them on TikTok or you can also get them on Amazon. I found the, all of these on TikTok and on Amazon because I was like not sure which one I was gonna get So I'll link the one on Amazon down below in case you're not a TikTok shop person, but And you like these but look at this This is a this is a swimsuit. It's black It's got the skirt built in and it's got a little tie right here and it's got built-in padding there love it's black, so it's automatically gonna be swimming. And it's got adjustable straps here. The only thing I wish it had, obviously, is like nursing straps, but that's okay. I can just pull it down, do what I gotta do. But yeah, isn't this so cute? This is what we need. This is what we need. So I got this one. And then I also got this brown one. Same kind of vibe. It's two straps. We've got a little built-in little skirt. So we get some coverage. What's the bottom underneath? The underneath is still like a swimsuit bottom. This one is, which one is this? This one, have, this one also has a swimsuit bottom as well, but the long sleeve one has shorts. So yeah but I'm very happy with that. I'm excited to try them on. I hope they fit. Am I trying them on before we go tomorrow? No. <laughs> and that's okay because I just don't feel like trying them on. Um, if they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. It's fine. I will send them back if they don't fit. But I also don't see myself like really being in the water like that. There's also a target like 15 minutes away from the place. So if worst case scenario, I need to go get a swimsuit, I will. So I had multiple brands reach out and want to send me like clothes and stuff, but I was like very much so pregnant when they were reaching out. So I got all these clothes essentially for my postpartum fashion rebrand era that I'm in. So I got these items from Petal and Pup. This is like a romper. You can do it belted or I'm gonna do it I think as like a cover-up, like a swimsuit cover-up situation. Emery is asleep right here y'all if you hear her squirming around a little bit. Also got this from Petal and Pump. This is like a really cute romper situation. Also gonna wear this as a cover-up or something easy to throw on if I'm not wearing a swimsuit anymore. I also got this white dress from them. So pretty and it's like weighty actually. It's like really good material. 
So I don't know if I'm gonna wear, oh. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear this on this trip or not. I thought it would be pretty for like a nice dinner situation, but I have options for dinner, so I'm not sure, but I'm gonna bring it just in case. our trip I got to tell y'all exactly how everything is gonna go down I'm doing my lashes so we gonna multitask here okay as much as I can so today we are taking a family road trip down to the Austin Texas area which is about a two and a half hour drive for us we're going to Kalahari Resort okay it's like a indoor outdoor water park resort situation me and my mom and my siblings on her side we're all going together we planned this back in like christmas time because we hadn't taken like a family vacation like this like all together in a few years and so my mom really wanted to do something all together so this is what we came up with so everyone is very very excited we got one big old suite so that we could stay together and the suite i want to say it has i don't think it has technically a full kitchen because there's not an oven but i want to say it is Somewhat because it has a full-size fridge and it has a dining room table that sits eight, I believe. And it has like a living area and separate bedrooms. So not everyone is gonna have their own space. So me and Mark with our kids, we will have essentially one room to ourselves, and then everyone else will be kind of like bunked up in the other rooms or sleeping in the living area, which is a very good size. So I believe the suite is supposed to sleep at least 12 and there's about, I think nine of us total, nine or 10 of us total. It'll be us, obviously, like I said, my mom, my sister Madison, who y'all know, my sister Simone and her daughter Kaya, y'all know them too. And also, which some of y'all may not know, I also have another brother named Malik and his, him and his girlfriend are joining us as well. His girlfriend just graduated from college. They just moved to Houston and I haven't seen them in a long time. We haven't all gotten together. I don't even think we all got together technically for Christmas because I think he had to work so we really haven't all been together in a minute so it's gonna be an amazing family reunion type vibe that we're all like so ready for so everybody's status currently Micah is still asleep MJ and Sarai are awake running around Emery is clearly asleep Mark is at the car dealership because we literally have to get new tires today. Like on the morning of us going on a road trip. And we didn't realize we were going to need these tires until Mark went to get the car serviced last week. Which we always do before we do any sort of like road tripping. And when he was there, he was like, hey, these tires, like they're looking a little 
little suspect like that we really need to get new ones and I was like well I don't want to get on the road you know and not have good tires it's just something I don't want to be you know worried about so let's just go ahead and get them this one is doing something weird I said let's go ahead and get them you know now just bite the bullet because we need them but we're all not riding together. So my sister Madison, who lives with us, her and Sarai are gonna ride with my sister Simone because Simone lives a little bit north than us. So she's gonna come pick them up on their way because we needed a little bit more room in our car because Madison's been having issues with her car. She was originally supposed to drive her car and so we were going to have two cars to like put our stuff in because really we have a Kia Telluride and with four kids and two booster seats and two car seats, we're already busting at the seams without any luggage. Okay. So we are having to play Tetris with our luggage before having to be condensed to one car, but we were going to have two cars to like stick stuff in. We've got like a big wagon for the kids that sits all, well, not all four of them because Emery ain't sitting in there yet, but it seats four, so it's a larger like wagon and obviously luggage for all of us to stay for four days. We had the idea that we were gonna have two cars to work with, but Madison's having car issues. She so had to drop her car off this morning, which was a whole thing. And so now we had to kind of figure out what our other plan was gonna be yesterday because we didn't realize we we're gonna not have two cars until yesterday but we didn't freak out we figured it out we got our plan together and we are going to be fine we are going to be able to pack everything we need we're just going to which is going to helpful with Sarai you know not being in the car and Madison obviously not being in our car so we can basically pop down one of our seats and create a little bit more space in the back, in the trunk. So I think we'll be fine with getting all of our stuff in the car. That's one of those things. As a big family going on vacation, you, you bring in a lot of stuff, okay? We're bringing a lot of stuff. But that's fine, you know? I, I was seeing posts that were talking about, like, don't not do the things when the kids are little. Like... Don't wait until it's easy because you miss out. You really miss out. Like, yes, it's harder to travel with four kids than it is as two adults. Yes. But, you know, if you make everything somewhat of an adventure, a fun time, even the journey of getting to the place, make it fun in some way, let the kids help as much as possible then it all becomes an enjoyable experience. Now, granted, it has its moments, okay? When people start acting crazy and kids start doing stuff they ain't supposed to do and getting into stuff they ain't supposed to be getting into, is it frustrating? Yes. But, you know, you have frustrating moments with adults, okay? Some adults don't know how to travel well, all right? So I don't blame my kids for also trying to figure out how to travel well. They got to practice. And if they never go anywhere, they'll never get better about being out the house. So get out the house. Even if it's to like free things. Like I've been finding so many cool little free parks and libraries and exhibits and stuff in Dallas that we're going to be taking the kids to this summer slash into the fall and stuff because I'm really focusing now on it since we're homeschooling. And there are so many great things in the area that you could be doing that's free with your kids. And I'm grateful for that because I know that that's not the case everywhere. So we're going to take advantage, child. We're going to be out in these streets, okay? My lips been looking crusty this whole time. Caught in every moment I see the sun on your face Hopeful eyes keep them glowing yeah. I love you more than words could say There's nothing you could do To stop
Let's pray. Okay. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for um, an opportunity to get away, Father God. Um, thank you for your love and kindness and grace. Thank you for the means to be able to do this. We ask your forgiveness for our sins, Father, and we pray that even on this trip, we are in a position that you desire for us to be able to be used for your glory as emissaries of our your loving kindness towards everybody. Thank you for peace on this trip, Father. We thank you that we will be able to provide everything that our children need as we go forth. Send Jesus in the face. Amen. Amen. Baby boy. We on the road. We're we on the road. We're going. We're going.